In this video we are going to practice exercise number 8 from the book playing on the D string. Coming up! Hello everyone, welcome back to Violin Lesson Online. This is a free online violin school for absolute beginners as well as for advanced players. If you are looking for free violin lessons, this is the right place for you. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell notification icon, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, visit my website so you won't miss anything. This lesson is a part of a video series, make sure to watch the previous videos if you missed something. And let me know if you have any question or if you need any help, use the comment section below. Make sure to download this book, find the link in the description below. This book has been specifically written for this video series and it is required to follow these lessons. Let's practice exercise number 8 from the book which is an exercise on the D string. Take your violin and make sure that it is absolutely perfectly tuned. Put the bow corrector on the violin because especially if you are just beginning and if you are following these lessons which are talking about the basics of the violin playing, this is absolutely an amazing help and can just save you hours of wasted time learning wrong movements. If you don't have it and want to buy it, have a look in the description of this video and find a direct link. Make sure that the bow corrector goes exactly in the middle between the bridge and the beginning of the fingerboard. Now take your bow, make sure it is tensed the right way, put the rosin on the bow, put the shoulder rest on a violin, put the violin on the shoulder and let your hand be in here because you don't need the fingers right now. This is a down bow. So when you see this symbol on a note, it means you should play down bow. This is an up bow. So when you see this, you should play an up bow. Accordingly to which string you are playing, the position of your arm should be relative to that string. Which means if you are playing the G string, your arm should be a little bit higher than if you are playing for example the E string. And the arm should just follow the same level of the bow. Which means you're not allowed to do this kind of movement or you're not allowed to, to exaggerate with the height of your arm. You know, just follow the line of the bow. Put your hand right there because we don't need the finger and let's get started. One, two, three, four. Make sure to practice that exercise as many times as you need to get comfortable with it. Make sure you only play on the string you are supposed to play. You don't touch by mistake other strings. Make sure you use the whole length of your bow and not just little parts. Make sure you produce a very nice sound and if you don't know how to produce a very nice sound, follow the tips which I have given you in the previous videos. Just watch back and you will find everything, all the information you need. Don't get irritated by the fact that the bow corrector is stopping your bow sometimes. If this happens, it means actually that you are doing the wrong movement, uh, which means you should adjust the angle of the bow with the instrument or the angle of the arm with your instrument so that the bow just goes freely. Make sure that the points which you have fixed on the bow stay fixed. Make sure that the fingers don't move too much 
or take some strange position like this one or like this one or whatever stick to the points and you'll be very good make sure that the position of your arm is in the same level of the string so for example if you play on the a string it should be like right there or the d string should be there or the g string should be there and on the e string should be there it should just follow the level of the string make sure that the sound you produce is a nice quality no scratchy sounds you don't need dirty sounds or noises you know just make sure to produce a nice sound practice that and if you need some tips about how to achieve a better sound watch the previous videos because i have given you some information about that and if you're still having troubles with it just let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions if there is anything you think i'm missing in this video or if you have any special requests on which video you would like me to do next simply let me know in the comment section below make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell notification icon follow me on facebook twitter instagram visit my website so you won't miss anything i really hope you liked this video and if you did then give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends so that's all for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time